This is your Association Chat News Flash Briefing for Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Your favorite briefing on new ideas, events, and tech you need to know about in the association industry. I'm Kiki Letalien. So I love tech and I love having everything given to me exactly the way I want it, how I want it, and when I want it. This morning, I read a tweet from Deirdre Reed sharing that the New York Times plans to invest heavily in AI to create a personalized feed and to improve user engagement. This came from AdAge. No surprise there. Everything around us is either already using AI, artificial intelligence, to customize what we see, or it's headed that way. I I get several newsletters in my inbox already that offer to learn from what I read, what I have read, and what my preferences are so that I only see what I care about and what's relevant to me. And I love that experience, mostly. Except, let's look at something else that's curated for us. My Facebook feed. I don't know what I'm not seeing. I don't know how my experience is being filtered and curated for me using AI. I don't really have a chance to decide for myself, except in the very, very beginning. And even then, the algorithm is deciding for me, what is the news I want to see? Who do I want to hear from on my feed? And even when do I want to see that? AI curated experiences or news feeds are great. Are, they're a great idea. It's especially fantastic for an age when we have so much noise and very little time. And it's a great idea, except it creates a very myopic look at things that you've already decided that you're interested in. But what if you don't know for sure? Or what if you're curious? Or what if you change your mind about a viewpoint that you have? Our machines keep feeding us what they've learned we want. What I wish we had was a development setting, like a personal development setting or an option to expand my viewpoint setting. Maybe that would be good for my newsletters and social media. Maybe I want to see some of the people I don't usually talk to. Maybe I want to read a story told from a different political perspective. Maybe it's not even a want. Maybe I need to. I discover the Discover playlist on my Spotify account, I discovered my Discover. (laughs) I love the Discover playlist on my Spotify account. It uses my musical preferences to find artists that I don't already listen to, but that I might like, and it puts them in a playlist for me. This is pretty cool. This is a really great thing. This is basically Spotify guessing that I'm going to really enjoy the music. And a lot of times they're eerily right on target. But how does that explain The music that's out there that when I hear it, I fall in love with it, but it's something I never, ever, ever would have normally listened to. You know, that's the thing that I'm interested in. What a completely AI curated experience does is it takes away the serendipity of change, right? And and of discovery. What I'm saying is that with all of the built-in AI and machine learning around us, we need to be more vigilant than ever and proactive about expanding our own horizons intellectually and philosophically. If we want to grow our brains and our mindsets, science and history have shown that we need information and experiences from outside our comfort zones almost categorically opposite of what most AI customized content is doing for us today. I'm not anti-AI. I am one of artificial intelligence's biggest advocates. I u- like I, We're all using it, whether we know it or not. But I mean, I am so thankful for it. It does streamline and make easier the life that I'm leading. But I'm also aware of the fact that because of it, I do need to go after growth experiences and learning beyond what's served up to me that I've already opted into. I'm sure a lot of us have had the experience where we wish that people who had different viewpoints had a chance to be exposed to alternative viewpoints from what they have already chosen to invest their time and interest in. Wouldn't we all be a little bit wiser or maybe a little bit more empathetic if we were able to to take a look at those things that we don't naturally um, connect with in the beginning.
If this sounds preachy, I don't mean for it to. Please consider this your tech (laughs) public service announcement. It's a PSA, you guys, for the day talking about AI. That's it for today's flash briefing from Association Chat. Thanks for listening and check back tomorrow for the association news you need. Learn more at associationchat.com. 